Aloha and welcome to your astrology highlights for 2013. I'm KG Styles with a special overview of the key astrological themes in 2013. This special forecast is sponsored by KGStyles.com, holistic products and services for body, mind, and soul, and PurePlantEssentials.com, organic aromatherapy. Please visit our websites today. A direct link appears below. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your support. On today's show, you'll learn about the major planetary events and cycles occurring this year. This window into planetary cycles empowers you to have a unique insight on current global events in your individual life as well as collectively. By looking at where these planetary events are constellating in your own personal astrology chart, you'll know the area of your life where you'll be experiencing these energies on a personal level. Until January 28th, I'm offering you a private astrology and numerology forecast for only $35. That's a gift to you of 70% off my regular price of $125. To learn more, visit the 2013 astrology and numerology forecast link below. We are in the universal year of six, the number and vibration ruling the planet Venus. The number six looks like a pregnant belly, full of possibilities and resonates to the planet Venus, goddess of love, prosperity and abundance. 2013 is a year of being true to yourself, coming into alignment and harmony with your own inner divine love energies, and thus harmonizing with others in your world and the collective. Forgiveness is the power word for this year. This means letting go and releasing everything that is not aligned with our love, heart-based energies. Having a willingness to connect in your heart with what is right, moment to moment, keeping faith, that you will be supported through any shifts you need to go through for this greater alignment with the wisdom of your heart and your own love-based energies. So this year you are required to do the practical work of implementing and living rightly according to the wisdom of your heart. No more excuses. You are rapidly aligning and harmonizing with your heart this year and the rewards will be great for those willing to go for it and trust the universe has your back. Let's take a deeper look at numbers in the year 2013. It has the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 in it. So this year has potential for being an easy flow for you if you relax and allow yourself to align with the numbers in the year. The number 2 in 2013 represents the moon and being in relationship with others and harmonizing your emotions. 0 represents the planet Pluto, God of Truth. 1 represents the sun, your individuality, freedom to act and take responsibility for yourself. And three represents the planet Jupiter, god of good fortune, and brings enjoyment. We started 2013 off with a golden yacht, also known as a finger of God or finger of fate. The fingertip of this golden yacht is pointing at the planet Jupiter retrograde in Gemini. The base of this golden yacht is the planet Saturn in Scorpio in mutual reception and harmonious aspect to Pluto, the ruler of the sign Scorpio, and now transiting the sign of Capricorn ruled by Saturn. This sextile between Saturn and Pluto will continue into the month of April, supporting you to make needed adjustments and change in these areas of your life. This golden yacht is supporting you with an opportunity to review the area of your life where Jupiter is pre presently located. As Jupiter is retrograde, it may very well feel like the brakes have been on in this area of your life where Jupiter is located. In other words, things feel stalled. This represents a gift and strange wrapping paper. Remember, Jupiter always bestows gifts upon you, and these gifts are perfectly supported by the Pluto and Saturn, sex, sex, Saturn in sextile. On January 11th, Jupiter retrograde in Gemini will sextile Uranus and form a grand rectangle, also known as a golden rectangle, between Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Pluto. This golden rectangle is being activated at the time of the new moon. On the same day, January 11th, as the uh, as the 21 degrees Capricorn, the new moon. This golden rectangle is active through the month of February. This golden rectangle looks like a big banquet table in the heavens and there is an opportunity for great abundance being offered. This activation of the Capricorn new moon is especially potent as five planets form a grand stellium in Capricorn at the new moon. So you have an opportunity to embody and manifest that which you are aligned with. So this particular Capricorn new moon is the best of 2013 for the embodiment of your intentions.
feeling them as if they are happening now with all of your senses. On January 26, the full moon at 7 degrees Leo marks a time of celebration for the completion of a stage of your journey that may have started with the solar eclipse in November. And there is a forgiving and letting go of old patterns and an, adjust and an adjustment like uh, likely in the areas where Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Pluto are located. On January 30th, Jupiter stations direct at 6 degrees Gemini. Jupiter's forward motion will release tensions that have been long uh, building up in the golden yacht and the golden rectangle. Some of you could experience this as a sudden forward movement that increases in momentum over the coming few weeks. Now all of the planets are direct, which is a rare occurrence. Usually one or more of the planets are retrograde. As I see it, these energies being constellated at the start of January and during February represent the key astrological setup for what you will experience this entire year. You have clear skies for moving forward until February 18th, when we begin our first review of 2013 with Saturn's station retrograde at 11 degrees Scorpio. Saturn is about restructuring, and in Scorpio, ruled by Pluto, it works deeply, getting to the bottom of what needs change to create a viable structure for your long-term stability. On February 23rd, the first of three Mercury retrograde periods of 2013 occur at 19 degrees Pisces. All of our Mercury retrograde periods happen in water signs this year, so you will be reviewing your thoughts and attitudes in the areas of your life where Mercury is retrograde. Mercury retrograde in water signs has you clear your emotional body of old static judgments that have clogged your emotional state of being so, so that you become more fluid and open to expressing your true emotional your true emotions freely and authentically. This directly relates to your alignment to the truth of your own heart-based energies and the wisdom of your heart to guide you perfectly moment to moment to make the right choice for yourself in life. Mercury retrograde in Pisces ends March 17th at 5 degrees Pisces. On April 12th, the planet Pluto stations retrograde at 11 degrees Capricorn. So both Saturn and Pluto, which form the base of the Golden Yacht, are now retrograde, reviewing the foundations upon which your beliefs and attitudes, represented by Jupiter, are grounded. Both Saturn and Pluto retrograde occur at 11 degrees, a master number, representing a gateway opportunity, a powerful choice point for altering the course of your life. On April 25th, we have our first of five eclipses this year. The first happens as a trinity of eclipses. The first eclipse is a lunar eclipse at 5 degrees Scorpio. It's conjunct the planet Saturn, lending stability and giving structure and completion to something uh, which feels like it's uh, which feels that it is in harmonious aspect to Neptune and Pluto, further giving the feeling of realizing a dream, giving birth to something that is ideal and has depth. On May 9th, there's a solar eclipse at 19 degrees Taurus. This solar eclipse signals a powerful new beginning or opportunity in this area of your life. It has positive aspects to Pluto, giving depth and power, Mars representing tremendous drive and desire for action, and conjunct Mercury lending gra grounded connection and practical communication to the solar eclipse. On May 20th, we have our first of two exact squares between Pluto and Uranus, which have been operating in the background to bring about freedom for the individual and change to the established structures in your life and society. The exact square ushers in dramatic changes that are now starting and increasing into June and through July, as things really start to shift for you and the collective. This year's theme of being true, expressing your heart-based love energies gets amped up during this time. On May 24th, we have the third eclipse in this series, a lunar eclipse, at 4 degrees Sagittarius. This one may not be uh, felt as potent and is not as well aspected as, as the first two in this series of three. We'll talk more about this series of eclipses in an upcoming video. On June 7th, Neptune stations retrograde at 5 degrees Pisces. We began 2013 off with Neptune at 0 degrees Pisces. Your intuitive capacities and psychic perceptions are being opened ever more. You are being showered with fresh imaginings in this area of your life where Neptune is located. Now it's time to review and consolidate your psychic impressions. Neptune's trying to Saturn is wide at times, yet in effect into August 2013, which helps to ground your intuitive perceptions so they have practical value in your day-to-day -day world.
Then on June 25th, Jupiter moves into Cancer, a water sign ruled by the moon, reflecting your deepest emotions related to your home, family, and security. The very next day, Mercury stations retrograde at 23 degrees Cancer. When we uh, review our thoughts and attitudes related to our home, family, and security. The energies shift now when we enter a whole different phase of 2013 as Saturn stations direct on July 7th at 4 degrees Scorpio. The review of what needs restructuring is complete. It's time to do the practical and serious work of change and restructuring in this area of your life. Since Saturn is in mutual reception with Pluto and Capricorn, this restructuring is being supported. It can have far-reaching ramifications for long-term change in both areas of your life where these planets are located. I don't know that this restructuring and change will be easy, but it is supported. You'll need to have a bit of grit and willingness to do the hard work necessary. On July 20th, Mercury stations direct at 13 degrees Cancer. During this time, through the first week of August, a grand sextile is activated and exact on July 29th. I'll speak more about this celestial event in a forthcoming video. Generally, a grand sextile has every celestial alignment contained within it. The most important alignments contained within the grand sextile will be the ones that aspect one or more of your personal planets. This is a rare astrological event. A grand sextile represents material manifestation on a grand scale. Something amazing will be happening during this time for you individually, as well as for humanity and our world collectively. On September 20th, Pluto ends its review period and stations direct. On October uh, 18th, we have the first of our next pair of eclipses. The first is a lunar eclipse at 25 degrees Aries, which will definitely activate the square between Uranus and Pluto. Soon after this lunar eclipse, we have our final Mercury retrograde start on October 21st at 18 degrees Scorpio, when we review our thoughts and attitudes related to this area of our life. Mercury will be close uh, making a close trine to the planet Jupiter as it stations retrograde, then conjuncts Saturn on October 29th, lending a serious tone to the review and emphasizes the need for change of your attitudes in this area of your life. Mercury retrograde forms a sextile to Mars in Virgo and Pluto in Capricorn during its retrograde, a grand Earth trine on November 1st, lending practical depth, desire to take action, and manifest results. On the same day, November 1st, we have our second exact square between Uranus at 9 degrees Aries and Pluto at 9 degrees Capricorn. Then two days later, we have our second eclipse, a solar eclipse at 11 degrees Scorpio, which is conjunct the North Node in Scorpio. This is a powerful new beginning in this area of your life. We'll talk more about this, this corridor of change being constellated and highlighted, highlighted by this last pair of eclipses in 2013 in an upcoming video. Well, that's it for your general overview of the key astrological themes for 2013. Thanks so much for joining me. Please visit our websites, kgstyles.com, holistic products and services for body, mind, and soul, and pureplanessentials.com, organic aromatherapy products. Our links appear below this video. Wishing you a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2013. I'm your host, KG Steins.